The Cheshire mother of three is fighting deportation to Albania next week, and she's getting some help from state lawmakers. News 8 first told you about Donata Rondos last night. Reporter Jackie Slater, she's live in Cheshire this evening with the latest push to keep her here in the United States. Jackie. Scott, and some new information coming to light tonight. Donata, uh, Donata's attorney saying that while she did originally enter the U.S. on a visa and made it through inspection, that visa was not in her name. Still, the Rondos family is holding out hope that immigration officials will see everything she's accomplished while being here, reconsider her case to be deported. Just a short while ago, the Rondos has met with Congresswoman Elizabeth Esty here at the restaurant in Cheshire. Esty sent a letter to immigration urging them to allow Donata to stay in the United States as she continues her path to citizenship. A quick timeline of Donata's journey. She arrived in 2002 on that visa, a visa given to her by her parents as she was just a teenager at the time. In 2003, she asked for asylum because people in her country were being killed for their religious beliefs. An order of removal was issued in 2000. 2007 by immigration. She married her husband, who was a U.S. citizen, in 2008. And immediately after that, she began filing and petitioning for permanent residency. Her attorney says Donata has been diligent in her efforts to stay here and made every effort to follow the proper procedures. Now, Esty, along with both Senators Blumenthal and Murphy, are asking immigration to reconsider. She's got a strong case, and it makes no sense to require her to leave. If she has to leave the country, she might be barred for 10 years from coming back. Best case scenario, one or two years before she would be allowed to come back and see her family. They have done everything um, that you would expect of a responsible community member. Um, they've built a family, they've built a business, they've given back, uh, and Cheshire will be worse off if this de deportation goes forward. A lot of people have been weighing in on this story on our website and on social media. They say if you break the law, you have to pay the price, and they understand immigration's decision to have her deported. Now, attorneys did not expect to hear from immigration officials today as it was Veterans Day observed. They are hopeful, however, that they will hear back from immigration officials on Monday, and Donata will be allowed to stay until they hear her case. Reporting live in Cheshire tonight, Jackie Slater, News 8.